Hello and welcome to IoT Projects Ideas. Today, we will be continuing our series on Estonia Chamai display. As said on a previous video, today we will learn to design our own UI using Stone Designer software. Then, we will cover some basics about the data formatting of this HMI display using UI, which will help you to understand how to update data to the display and control some appliances. In the upcoming series, we will learn to interface microcontrollers with this display and read the sensor data as well as control some AC home appliances. So, this video is purely based on how to design our own UI using Stone Designer software and how we can control the display using the UART. Once you get the sense of it, we will start covering the microcontrollers one by one. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. At the moment, PCBWay is conducting a KiCad open source hardware design contest. If you have a passion for electronics, you are welcome to participate in this contest from anywhere in the world. You can submit your open source project designed using KiCad by June 2, 2024. There are several rules and guidelines that you must follow, which will be provided in the description below. The top 10 projects will be awarded $100 and a Raspberry Pi 5. Even if you participate in the contest but do not win, you will still receive a Raspberry Pi Pico with a PCB way and KiCad bag as a reward. Therefore, do not delay in participating in the contest. To design UI for your display, first, you need to download the Stone Designer software. The link is provided in the description. Once you downloaded the software installation file, install it. Now you need to prepare one basic layout background image for your UI. Here I have already designed one using Photoshop. The size of the background image should be exactly the same as the size of your display. For me, it's 800 by 480 pixels for a 7 inch HMI display. Now open the Stone Designer software and create a new project. Provide your project name, project path, display size, and board rate. Then click on the create button. To add images to the project, click on the image tab under resources and add the background image you want to use. On the right side, under bg underscore image, now choose your background image. Now we will add two level widgets for temperature and humidity. For indoor temperature, keep the name of the level widget as temp. We will require it to send or update data through UART command. Now under style settings, click on the little pen icon. Here, under text setting, configure text color, font size, and text alignment of your requirements. Then, click on save. Under text value, I am providing 100 as default value. This value will be displayed on your display. Similarly, the humidity settings will be the same. So, I'll just click Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus B to copy and paste this label widget. Now, drag it to the place where you want to place the widget. Edit the widget, name to Humi. Now, we will add 8 switch widget just below each relay. Make sure you name the widget differently like relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4 to up to relay 8. Finally, at last, let's add a digital clock widget at the right corner of the screen. Then change the text color to white. Now you can save and run simulation of our newly created UI. Click on download and choose your file location. The UI will compile and save in your default folder. Copy this default folder. Connect your display with USB UART module and USB port on the display to the computer. 
Go to the app drive e in your computer and delete that old default folder. After that, paste the newly copied default folder. You can eject the drive and press the reset button on the back panel of your LCD. You will notice blue LED blinking. Congratulations, you have successfully downloaded a new UI into your HMI display. To send data to the display, we will use UART communication. So make sure to set your jumper to the correct direction for UART communication as shown here. Now open UART communication software, yes has come 3 2. Here you can see my display is connected to COMP8 port. You can check this from the device manager. After selecting the correct COMP port, you can press buttons on display. You will notice some characters and text on the serial. Now turn on hex data to read data in hex format. Now when you turn toggle switches, you will see some data. Now let's open the instruction set. B2.5RC of Estonia HMI display. This will help us in understanding how the data is transmitted between the MCU and the display. The data must consist of the frame header, then the data itself and the frame tail in the end. Similarly, when the display sends the data to the MCU, it sends the header, then the command, then the length of the data. Then the data itself followed by the frame tail and two bytes of CRC. As you can see the last hex value is different when you turn on or off the switch. Let's quickly turn on and off each relay switch and note down this hex data on node. We will need this data when we interface MCU with display to send and receive data. Now move on to the level widget. Here we are going to monitor temperature and humidity from a sensor in an upcoming video. But now we will try updating the value in the display using UART command. Here I want to display the value of float type. So I will select this command. Here I am sending 20.60 value to the temp level widget. With this command, I am sending a 69.03 humidity value to the humi level widget. Lastly, let's try turning on and off relay switch using UART command. Type your widget name here and value as true to turn on and false to turn off. In the video, we demonstrated sending values to the display using the level element. Additionally, we showed how the display sends data frames when switches are on and off. In our next video, we will focus on interfacing different microcontrollers like Arduino, ESP8266, Node MCU, ESP32, Raspberry Pi Pico, etc. Then we will learn to read and write values to the display to control different devices using different sensors. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or doubts, please leave your comments. Have a nice day.